mama told me, ayy, not to sell work. Mama, 17, 5, same color t shirt. Yeah, Yo, nigga, pop it with a pocket full of cottage. Hey. How everybody doing today? It's your boy, I am Parker, aka Deliver Them Hands Like Domino Pizza. Today, we're here to do a review on Paladin. Now, <clears throat> I'm not the biggest on games like this, but I had to get this to try because a lot of my uh, Player 2 clan, uh, Player 2 uh, podcast members play games like this, like Overwatch and all that stuff. I have my hands on Overwatch and I actually liked it. You know, Overwatch is a very fun game, but we are here to talk about this game and basically, it's basically to me the stepchild of Overwatch. Now, is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. Depends on how you look at it. If you're one of the people that, you know, never had a chance to play Overwatch and miss out on the beta, this is a good test for you if you want to see if Overwatch is a game you might want to buy down the line. Now, the game is actually pretty fun, but I do not like the fact that how they, as you see on the screen right now, how they have characters you have to play to play the game to unlock them, which don't take forever, or you can share money right off the bat to actually unlock these guys. Some of these guys are pretty good. Now, the game off rib is not balanced. It's really not balanced. Uh, as you see later on in the video, I, I got the uh, Soldier 47 clone, and that's went completely ham with him. I mean, I ended up getting the top player of the game and all that. Now, where they did right at on this game to me is how they, how they um, basically it's like they speed, to me it felt like, uh, a lot of my friends said it didn't feel that way to them, but to me it felt like they sped up the matches from what Overwatch does, especially when it comes down to how you move the payload and everything. Uh, the characters, some characters are very overpowered than others. Like, um, I didn't get a chance to, uh, to see the, uh, the Brian, uh, Brian uh, I know y'all don't kill me in the comment section. Y'all know who I'm talking about, the guy that walk around with the hammer and walk around with the shield. Uh, he have his own version on this game as well, and it felt like to me that, that he's very old pal, like his shield is way a little bit too strong at some points. But, overall, I had a fun time playing this game. I can honestly say that now, I would advise anybody, it's free right now on PlayStation. On PlayStation uh, PlayStation Plus, I mean on PlayStation Membership and all this stuff. So. Uh, so, I encourage anybody to go download and give it a try. Um, like I said, I actually enjoyed the game. Um... My only problem with the game so far was basically the shooting. The shooting uh, felt like the the aim the aim assist on the game was very strong at some points. Um, it really uh, the introduction part of the game was not really as much helpful. Like they introduced me like when I first got ready to start my first match, as you see, they showed me something like Yu-Gi-Oh cards stuff like that, which threw me for a complete loop because in uh, Overwatch. Once you pick the character you want to pick on, it literally lays everything out for you. Now, they, don't get me wrong, they do have cosmetics in Overwatch that does nothing but, you know what I'm saying, make your character look different. Don't do really get anything uh, extra. But in this game, they they chose to give you power-ups. That you actually have power-ups in this game. That's, you know what I'm saying, like cars. Like I said, you have cars that actually give you extra, uh, give you bonus stats overall uh, bonus stats different from anybody else stats depends on what what they load out is now like I said the game is is it's is fun uh, I can see people that like I said that have never gave old watch a chance to actually get on this game and give it a try All I can tell you is just go in here and don't 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 try to speak don't expect this to be a old watch that's uh that's the best advice I can give you on this game go in here and play the game for what it is it is a fun game. It is something you could play. Uh, you know what I'm saying? When you're not playing 2K like myself, or you're not playing any other game like uh, Xenoverse 2 or something like that, this would be a good game to play. Now, uh, another thing is, it, it, at some points it felt like you really didn't have to do too much to, really to, to push the payload. Like, a, a lot of times, I mean, my guy wouldn't even buy, buy the payload and was actually still moving on his own. So it, it really is not really as competitive as Overwatch, where Overwatch you really had to communicate with your team. This whole gameplay, I had my mic off the whole time. Time I did not talk to nobody. I did not try to tell them how to do anything. I didn't know who was a hill on my team. I had no idea who was doing what. I just knew is if I seen a target that was red in front of me, I'm shooting at it. And that's that's pretty much the dumbed down version of it. Like I said, it's a dumbed down. In, in so many ways, it's like a dumbed down Overwatch. 
Like, oh, why you really have to communicate with your team? You got to know how to flank. You got to know your healer at all times. Your healer got to be on point. As you see how they got killed because I didn't know who my healer was. I didn't know who was the healer. They even got a guy on here that kind of look like they, like they, they been off so much off of other properties like Overwatch, like uh, Guardian of the Galaxy. As you see, we got a guy on here that look like uh, Raccoon and uh, all that stuff. Uh, uh, um, it, it's just, they try to, they, they try to do too much and to me, it felt like it paid off a little bit, but not pay off the way, way they wanted to. Um, in certain aspects of the game, it felt like you know, uh, powers came a little bit too easy. Like me, like I was getting my my suit back like crazy. Like, I mean, half the time I didn't even know if I killed somebody or not. I'm seeing I'm seeing the count streak of mine going up to six and all that stuff. But half the time I didn't know if I actually killed the person, got the final lick on them or what. In a, in Certain supers are very overpowered on this game. Like, really. Like, it's this, it's this one guy that walk around dropping this major, um, major, uh, bomb, like Jack Atlanta. And he can literally destroy your whole team if that bomb go off and nobody happen to do anything about it. Um, the, like I said, another overpowered person that I found out later on in the game by be playing is the guy I'm actually playing with. The, the, the Soldier 47 clone. 40, I mean, 40, not, 40, yeah, not 47, 46. Y'all know who I'm talking about. He's very overpowered. I mean, unless I know I'm good at shooters, don't get me wrong. I know I'm, I'm very good at shooters, but no way should I've been dropping people right out the bat like this on this game. I mean, seriously, when you play when you play this game, you want my personal vice pick the guy I play with. He is so overpowered. He got grenades that he can chunk. He can cook those grenades. You don't have an answer to throw them. You can cook them down so you can wait to the right moment to throw them. But overall, I had a fun time playing the game. Um, like I said, I did not go in here expecting to be Overwatch because I play Overwatch. I own Overwatch. Um, so I knew not to expect too much. But from my personal understanding, I feel like they kind of they kind of Overwatch. I'm surprised they get sued for it. But like my homeboy, uh, fellow podcast member Ducky told me, they did just enough just to get by. And I totally agree. That's what this game is. It's just enough to get you by time. You know, so get you by the time for you can, you know, say find some else to play or whatever the case may be. But this is my very first review, guys. I appreciate you guys, you know what I'm saying, doing the uh, giving the support y'all been giving me lately in my videos, the the comments, the likes, you know, I couldn't do nothing without you guys. I can't say that's enough. Uh, down my heart, I really appreciate everything y'all been doing for me. Um uh, now, y'all want to see more review videos like this uh, down the line? Let me know. Leave a comment down in the comment section. And uh, like uh, like we said in Player Two, we will be doing. I would personally be uh, be doing a review a review trailer. I mean, a review gameplay of Destiny Two on May the 18th. So make sure y'all be logged in on Player Two Podcast Channel to hear all the craziness we'll be talking about for that. Also, I will be doing a part two to buy or pass on uh, 2K18. So be looking out for that. I'll be doing, uh, like I said, a part two on it because they got so many reviews on there. I might well do a second one. But like I said, thank you guys. Um, it's going to be the end of this review. Like I said, you want to see more, leave a comment. Let me know what you would like me to review over. And uh, y'all have a good day, man. Thank you.